Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to tackle a classic biology application of exponentials, bacteria growth. In this example, we're told that a bacteria culture contains 600 bacteria and it doubles every 15 minutes. Importantly to this conversation is this statement right here, doubling every 15 minutes. This represents exponential growth because the it's a growth factor, a multiplicative factor. And as always, what we're going to do is use our general exponential form, which is our initial value A times the, the exponential factor or rate, in this case, raised to uh, our exponential power. In this important case right here, we know that 600 will be the initial amount. So this is the A value. And since we're doubling, B is going to be this exponential factor. And what we're going to have to do is play around with our exponent to deal with this every 15 minutes. The big decision we need to make right now is what we're gonna have our input value. So let's start here. We have our bacteria function at time T. The important thing is, is what does T represent? Is T gonna represent minutes or is it gonna represent hours? Just for this example, and it really won't matter what you use as long as you do the work of applying whatever you use as your input value. Um, but in this case, I'm going to have T represent hours, mostly just to showcase how I'm going to deal with this growth rate and having a times in terms of hours. So let's start here. I'm going to have my initial amount. In this situation, I start with 600 bacteria. I know that we're doubling, so I've got this exponential factor of two. In fact, if we're doubling every 15 minutes, so importantly, if we double every 15 minutes, what that implies then is that we double four times per hour. So that's really important. So in this case right here, and you might have seen this in the half-life example, but the idea is I'm not gonna just put T here because it doesn't double every hour, it doubles four times per hour. Now this is where the change would be whether I choose my input to be minutes or to be hours. But in this case, really important, so since I'm doing hours and it doubles four times per hour, what I'm gonna write up here in the exponent is four times T. And what this will do is for every hour I input, it will make sure this factor of two gets applied four times. And just to clarify, if I did change this input into minutes, at the end of this example, I'll go back through this with an input of minutes and you'll see how it'll affect this exponent up here. But we're ready to tackle this right now. We want to know the size of the population after four hours. The beautiful part about choosing hours in this case is the fact that I can just input four into this function. So the size of the bacteria after four hours is represented by 600, the initial amount, times this doubling factor, and then four times per hour times four hours, which gives us 600 times two, now raised to the 16th power, and then applying the exponent of 16 to the factor of two gives us 600 times 65,536. This is gonna be an extremely large number. When we multiply these together, I got 39,321,600. There's our original 600 with uh, almost 40 million of its friends. And so there we have our question answered. We were asked again, given this setup, which repre is represented by this model right here, what occurred after four hours? And we have just over 39 million bacteria in this, which was a small culture to start with. Let's now just take a quick second and rewrite this in terms of minutes. And you'll see that we'll get the same answer and it will end up looking the same really quick. It's just the initial model will be a bit different with when we're gonna input minutes instead of hours. All right, so if we took this information and wanted to then write an exponential model for the population size of this bacteria, but now in terms of minutes is our time that we'll use to input here. The important thing here is we're now starting with 600 still, we're doubling still, but now we're doubling every 15 minutes. So we don't wanna just put a T here, that mean it doubles every minute. To make sure this doubling is applied only every 15 minutes, we would write this as T over 15. And importantly, what this does is then 
it will only apply this factor of two or double the population once this t value reaches 15. Or if you put some multiple of 15, like you put t equals 30 here, it would, this would be 30 divided by 15 would be two. It would have applied the doubling twice, which is what we expect if it doubles every 15 minutes. And the big difference here now, if I'm doing this in the same problem, why, what I need to do to adjust this and why I used hours in the beginning is I need to now translate this four hours into minutes. I can't just apply four in here. If I plug a four into this function, it thinks I mean four minutes later. But now in terms of minutes, four hours we know is 240 minutes. So to find out the population after four hours, what I would do is plug in 240 into this function. So I get 600 times two raised to the 240 divided by 15. And you might guess what 240 divided by 15 is, it's 16, which is exactly the expression that we got when we did this the first time around. And this, I, I will skip all the jazz, but we know that this comes out to be 39 million, 321,600. So last to say, the decision about the input will affect what happens up here in the exponent. And those two examples really illuminate the differences that you'll have to do. In the first case, we want we doubled four times per hour. So for our input, what our rate, we wanted to apply multiple times. And so we did, we multiplied that t value by four. In this case, since we chose minutes, we don't want it to double every minute, but we want to wait for 15 minutes to actually apply a factor of doubling. And in that case, what we'll do is divide by that factor, in this case, 15. And again, either way, as long as you work your units correctly with all the information, and again, I'm not inputting four this time because now I'm inputting in terms of minutes, 240 minutes, which is equal to four hours, will always give me out the same answer no matter which way I build the original model.